Hey everyone, hope you're well. Today I'm doing my January empties because obviously like halfway through February is ultimately the best time to do your January empties um, and also like my January reverse rouge update. I am going to go through the reverse rouge part first and talk about the amount that I've used up both in terms of value and quantity because I said in my 2019 beauty resolutions that I was going to track quantities as well this year. On a side note by the way, I realised when I filmed my beauty inventory video I didn't mention brow products. I have 19 brow products. I don't know, I, m I was reading it off of my book and I must have just completely skipped the brow product bit so in case anyone's wondering, I own 19 brow products so you can add that to the inventory. Start with quantities because I've just mentioned quantities. So hair care, I started this year with 113 hair care products. I didn't add anything in in January. I used one hair care product, so that's left me with 112 hair care products. Skincare, I started with 410 and I've used up 14 this month, so that's taken me to 396 skincare products. And then makeup, I had 822 makeup products. I finished up two this month and that has taken me to 820. So my total quantity of items was 1,345 to start with. I've used 17 things this month and taken that to 1,328. In terms of value, I have used up $525.08 worth of product. That has broken down to $7.35 worth of hair care, $470.09 worth of skincare, and $47.64 worth of makeup. Um, so my starting total was $29,168.91 and my current running total for value for hair care, skin care and makeup all in is $28,643.83. Last year I was just doing it on spreadsheets on my computer. I have actually just started uploading it to Google Documents, basically in case my laptop decides to die at any point. Like that way it's on my Google Documents so I can share that if anyone would be interested. I don't know if you would be or not, it might be a really boring thing to share but if you'd like me to share my Google Documents um, I can share like I've got my Reverse Rouge 2019 overall running totals which is the document I just read from and then I've got my hair care, skin care and makeup inventories so I could share them as well. Let me know if you would be interested in seeing that, I don't know. If you would be I'm happy to Put clickable shareable links in the description bar but yeah let's get into what I actually used up and reviewing the products so the two makeup items I used the first thing I used up was an eye primer and it was this one just a little mini of the put a lid on it primer by the BAM a 3.7 mil size and it came in at five dollars 64 cents value towards my reverse rouge total this didn't irritate my eyelids but I did kind of feel when I used this that like, and it may just be because it's old, it might be pointless me saying this, um, but I kind of felt when I put the eye primer down that like the eyeshadow went on top a bit patchy when I had this, but that may be that this was just old and kind of not performing anymore. So I, I don't know actually 100%, but I, I wouldn't really bother repurchasing it because I've got other eye primers that are probably about the same amount of time old and don't make eyeshadow go on like that so yeah I don't think I would recommend this one and then the other one which is kind of a cheap product is this powder which is worth $42 it is my Estee Lauder double wear powder foundation but I just use it as a powder that is completely finished and this is also a bit of a spoiler for my project pan which I will actually film an update for at some point I had actually finished this already but I hadn't counted it in with my 2018 empties so I thought I'd better actually put it in and count it as an empty so that we know the value has been taken off. I would definitely repurchase that as to use as a powder. Like a powder foundation doesn't really offer enough coverage for me so I wouldn't purchase it to use as a foundation. But I definitely would purchase it as a powder. I would have no issues with it. There's other powders I want to try. I wouldn't rush out to repurchase this but you know I would definitely if it if I had it again I would definitely use it up again. The one hair care product that I used which was worth $7.35 was this from Rosanna Ferretti and it is the Prodigio Regenerating Treatment which you use pre-hair wash. I really like this. I like most pre-wash treatments because my hair is very fine, it gets easily weighed down and generally I'm always trying to encourage a bit of volume and a bit of life into it so I find things that kind of work pre-wash, you then shampoo them out, your hair is not as weighed down but it did feel really really nice after I'd used this. This is worth $7.35 and it was like basically a one use treatment so I don't know like I've worked out the value that long ago I would need to look at what the full size is and how much it costs but if it's super expensive I don't know if I would rush for it. I really like the Philip Kingsley Elasticizer 
that's so far kind of my favourite pre-shampoo treatment but I would definitely use this again. Things that I will probably not repurchase are these two serums. These are worth $100 each so these are 5 mils. The full size of this serum which is by Revive and it is the targeted skin filler intensity volumizing serum um, is worth $600 for 30 mils. Yeah, I've used up three of these now and it was fine and I wouldn't complain. Nothing to make me part with the $600 for the full size serum, I don't think. I'm happy to spend money on skincare because I kind of think you've got one face, you know, treat it well kind of thing. So if there's something like, for example, my Sizzly Black Rose range, um, I would, that mask I would repurchase time and time again although it is stupidly expensive because I can see a massive difference in my skin when I use it I see an instant result with it um, and I really really enjoy it to be fair I am in my sort of mid-20s I'm probably not the target customer for these so I don't know maybe um, if I had different skin I would have seen more of a result I feel like at that price point they surely must perform the ingredients must be amazing but definitely at the moment I have no current plans to spend $600 on the full size of this serum. I also finished up a big 100ml of the Guerlain Mon Guerlain perfume. This was worth $124 towards my total so quite like when you finish a perfume because you know it's always quite a good chunk towards your total. I mean my total for this month is $525 so I'm basically halfway to reverse rouge already which I'm very very pleased about but that's partly why I wanted to quantities as well because realistically like finishing that and it being worth 120 or even like one of the serums for example that's not the same amount of work for me to have got $200 from finishing two 5ml serums as it would be if I'd finished like three full size serums that are like around the $70 mark to kind of make the same value that's partly why I'm doing quantities as well but it is always quite nice when you get those kind of high ticket items and you're like yes I've got like a solid solid amount. I've actually got more of this. I was actually on the PR list for Guerlain for a little while, like the local one in Glasgow, but the women's now moved jobs. So um, yeah, I, I ended up with quite a lot of these and I did really, really like it. At first, I really like the history and I really like Guerlain as um, a fashion house. But in terms of this particular fragrance, I think I've got another three of these and I do feel like I need to use something else for a while. Very, very sweet, which I really like actually. I'm not usually a sweet fragrance kind of person. I usually like things that are quite warm, quite ambery, quite spicy. But this has got a warmth to it. It's got vanilla in it, I believe. So that kind of adds a bit of a warmth. It's not just a total like sugar fest, but yeah. I did really enjoy it. I have got more of them and I will use them up. You'll see that over the coming years. <laughs> that it will take me to work through my perfume collection. So I wouldn't rush to repurchase this and I'm not going to open another one of this just now. But I did like it. I would potentially repurchase it, but I need a break from it at the moment. Worth $9 is this little mini of my Kiehl's Iris Essence. Definitely would repurchase this. Absolutely love it. I think of all the essences that I finished between last year and this year, this has so far been my overall favourite. It lasts a really long time really good value for money and I do feel a difference in my skin when I'm using it so I've got a full size essence that I'm working through at the moment and that I've really just started because I started it when I finished this up and then I've got one more mini so I don't know if I'll be repurchasing it anytime soon but this is definitely so far the essence of all the ones that I've used this is the one I would repurchase. Worth $8.67 towards my total I have finished up a little mini of the Origins Make a Difference Plus and um, I call this a toner they call it a rejuvenating treatment lotion it's a toner basically. I actually have the full size of this, that, that's what I'm now using as my toner so um, I definitely would repurchase this. I generally like the Make a Difference range from Origins and um, particularly the treatment lotion and the moisturiser so yeah have already opened another one of this and probably will buy it again in the future. I used three sachet samples so these are worth a dollar each towards my total. So Melanin Gats Bergamot Body Wash which I really enjoyed and actually potentially would purchase from the Body Shop which is the Oils of Life Intense Revitalising Cream. Um, this is probably a little bit heavy for my skin because I'm quite oily anyway but I did enjoy it. I would recommend it if you're drier skinned but I do think it was a little heavy for my skin type. And then the third thing I've used is from By Terry and it is the Cellurose Eye Contour which I actually really enjoyed. I don't know how much this retails for full price. Obviously By Terry is a pricey brand. Um, so I wouldn't rush to repurchase it. There are other things. Um, I really like the Alginist eye cream, for example, that I think I would probably purchase before I'd go to purchase this. But I definitely, depending on the price, um, I, I would happily use up an actual full size of this. And I would say it, like a little goes quite a long way because 
this sample did me I think like four or five nights like it did me the best part of a week. A little bit goes a long way probably quite good value for money really if you know you're not going to be using a lot of it so I would potentially check this out. Speaking of Alginist I used this serum which is worth $14.18 and it is the Alginist liquid collagen serum. Um, I did like this but it, it was just a little mini one I would say it lasted me a week. Um, I didn't really like <laughs> Like it was quite thick, it was quite difficult to actually get this out of the packaging, which I imagine isn't a problem when you've got the full size one to be fair. I wouldn't rush to repurchase it based on using this, but I didn't dislike it and I really really like the Alginist eye cream that I like, so I feel like I'm quite open to experimenting more with Alginist as a brand at some point in the future. Um, but I don't know if I would rush for this product. Another serum I don't think I would rush for is the Caudalie Veno Perfect. This was a little 10ml 10 10ml 10 size and it was worth $26.33. And this is supposed to be a kind of brightening serum and I don't know if I would honestly say that I felt it really did brighten my skin up. I do think my skin is fairly kind of bright and luminous as it is at the moment, so maybe I'm not really being fair because maybe I didn't get a great chance to kind of take sort of dull skin and really brighten it up. But yeah, I kind of feel my skin's okay at the moment. I'm more interested in serums that are more for kind of soothing it down when it's like inflamed or more kind of hydrating. Don't feel like a kind of brightening serum is my main thing at the moment. So yeah, I don't think I would rush to repurchase this. I didn't love the texture of it. Like, I just didn't love it. In terms of masks, I use one sheet mask. This is by Tony Moly and I'm not gonna lie, I totally bought it because it was a Pokemon one. And it says, this nutrition mask provides rich moisturization to thick and dull skin. I did like it, I definitely felt like my skin was hydrated after using it. I would potentially pick up more of them if I'm in New York at Mask Bar again, but I also wouldn't rush to go out my way to repurchase it. So yeah, I feel like a lot of sheet masks are kind of like much of a muchness if they're kind of for hydration or nutrition or whatever they're sort of for. I feel like the main thing I get from sheet masks is hydration or I have a couple that are like deep cleansing that I can definitely tell the difference between them and like a hydrating one. But I feel like ones that are kind of brightening or hydrating all kind of sort of do a similar job. Does that make sense? Probably not, but yeah. I liked it. I wouldn't rush to repurchase it, but I also would repurchase it if it was in front of me and I was buying other things and I was like chucking things in my basket this would definitely make its way in again. And then I also finished up a tube mask, which I'm very excited about because as you guys know, if you watched my inventory, this is really a problem category for me. I have far too many masks in like tubes and tubs that are not sheet masks. And I definitely, definitely have been ditching them last year because I was much more enjoying using sheet masks because they're just, they're convenient and whatever. So the sheet mask was worth $5, I don't know if I said that. And then this was worth $28.41 and it's by Glam Glow and it's their Super Mud Clearing Treatment. So it's the white one. I would 100% repurchase this. I feel like it really helped kind of get everything out of my skin but I think it's got kind of AHAs or something. I can't 100% remember in there so as well as being like clay based and kind of taking things out. I felt like it helped with like the texture of my skin. Generally I really really enjoyed this and definitely definitely would repurchase it. Worth $13.50. I used up Bath & Body Works detoxify sleep body wash which I did enjoy. I potentially would repurchase it. It was nice enough to use I don't think it really sends me off to sleep or anything like that, but it was pleasant to use, it smelled good. One thing I really liked about this is that it was a black chamomile fragrance, so like quite a lot of the time things that are geared towards sleeping are very heavy on lavender, and I'm not the biggest lavender fan, um, so the fact this was more chamomile was like a much more pleasant smell to me. Like the scent, would repurchase, so I've got to say. And then the last product is an SPF worth $38 by Kiehl's, and it was, well, all the writings rubbed off it but it was their mineral SPF which I would not repurchase because I just felt a it took forever to finish I was so fed up with looking at it by the end but also it's got colour to it and I just I'm so pale that even things that are like very sheerly tinted show up on my skin like there's no such thing as a universal tint let's just all accept that so yeah this basically was far too dark for me. It didn't irritate my skin if you're not as pale as me and you're looking for an SPF like I would recommend it but I just wouldn't repurchase it. Those are all of my empties for January so yeah over $500 of product used already. Well on my way to reverse rouge. I don't think I'm going to do it in February because February I'm not going to use a lot up. In March I'm going on holiday so I don't know how much I'm really going to use up in March because I think what I'll do is take a lot of new things on holiday that I'm probably not going to finish in that period and then when I come back I'll have to either kind of 
put them to the side and finish using what I've been using or concentrate on them and then wait to come back to things that I've been using so I don't I don't think March is going to be a great month so I'm hoping maybe like April time I will hit that thousand dollar mark but we're off to a really good start so I'm really really pleased um, with my progress in January. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's been helpful. If you've got any questions about any of the products, let me know if you'd be interested in seeing my inventory or um, my reverse rouge kind of record on Google Sheets. Let me know and I will share that down below. But yeah, thank you very much for watching and I will speak to you soon. Bye.